Okay. Here we go. What distribution did we talk about last week? Do you guys remember? The what? The Poisson. Okay. So the Poisson distribution, the formula is a probability of x, p of x, where what does x actually count? It counts the number of arrivals in a what? In an interval. Okay, and I think I said last week that we're going to talk more about this word interval. Okay, and so the probability of these number of arrivals is mu to the x e to the minus mu over x factorial. What is mu? It, it's, the, it's the average number of arrivals. But it's the average number of arrivals in, in the interval that we're talking about. OK? And so in this problem here, if you notice that student, students are actually arriving in an office hour. Is that right? For this setting, students are arriving in some office hour. So in this, you know, for these questions, question one, if no students arrive or no students visit, what's the value of x? Good. What about one student arriving? Two, at least one. X is greater than or equal to 1. At least 2. X is greater than or equal to 2. Less than 3. X is less than 3. Okay. So all of these phrases here apply to what the value of X is here. Okay. You guys okay with that? So that's the first part. The second part is this. What is the value of mu? Anybody know what mu is? What's mu? What's the value of mu? Anybody want to guess? What does it say? Eight students. Let's see. Let's let's note the following facts: that eight students arrive. To every what? 60 minutes? Is that right? There's eight student arrivals on average in a typical office what? Hour. An hour is 60 minutes. Is that right? OK. And so what they're saying here now is in the next what? 25 minutes. You know, what's the probability? So here's where this interval concept comes in, OK? They didn't say in the next hour, what's the probability? If they said in the next hour, what's the probability, then the value of mu would be 8. It would be 8 arrivals. So they didn't say in the next hour. Is that right? They're saying in the next what? 25 minutes. Now, some of you guys are going to say, can't we change the question to 30 minutes? Because then mu would be what value? Not 8, but what? 4. So mu doesn't say, what, can we change this to maybe, um, you know, something that's nicer? Well, the answer is no, because sometimes they actually give you those kind of questions. So we have to be able to deduce the answer. OK, so here's what I'm going to do. How you deal with this situation isn't that, it looks complicated, but it's not that complicated at, at all. Did you guys take the prerequisite, the algebra class, right? OK. A fundamental tool of algebra, pre-algebra, beginning algebra, is this concept called proportions. In fact, I have a multimedia lesson based on proportions that I think we even called it probability review. Okay. So if you looked at that, I reviewed this stuff for the sole purpose, really, of you solving Poisson problems. See what I mean? So if you went through that review, then you're sort of prepared for, the, for this scenario. And this is what I'm talking about. 
You're going to create a proportion. What's a proportion? It's equal what? Equal ratios. So here I have the ratio of eight students to what? 60 minutes. I have to determine what mu students, that's my average, to how many minutes? 25 minutes. You see what I'm saying? So 8 to 60 is some value called my mu to 25. What this means is we have 8 over 60, and that equals mu over what? 25. If I solve for mu, then I'm what? Then I'm done. It's called a proportion. You can figure, you know, you can figure a lot of things out by using proportions. So how do you solve for mu? You guys remember how do you solve for mu? Multiply both sides by 25. The 25 cancels. And what is mu equal? 25 times 8 over 60. Uh, isn't that 400 over, um, over 60? So what is mu now then? What's 400 divided by 60? 6.7? Is that what it is, 6.7? Anybody second that answer? Nobody seconds it? Mu is 